I am not a Republican. I cannot stand the Republicans in power. I also cannot stand the Democrats in power. This is why I am going to vote for Trump. The number one reason is because of censorship. I have a perfect example for you. Last night, on a Facebook page I had had for four years, which had zero strikes against it, run by accounts that also had zero strikes against them, last night I posted a humorous, lighthearted video poking fun at Harris. What's the most cringeworthy thing you've seen an adult do? I'll tell you another thing. I'm man enough to support women. And I'm man enough to help them win. In less than five minutes, Facebook absolutely nuked my page. The reason they gave me was for impersonating a public figure. I am not impersonating myself, but I'm flattered being called a public figure. No, the truth of the matter is that despite the fact that I am basically as anti-establishment as anyone could possibly be, I am still, without hesitation, voting for Trump because of the censorship of the Democratic Party. It has now been revealed that the news outlets are the mouthpieces of the Democratic Party. So do you feel like MSNBC is doing enough to help the Harris campaign? I mean, they're doing all they can. It hammers home the point that I'm making that this news network is indistinguishable from the party. Are they the, just the Democratic Party's mouthpiece? Exactly. MSNBC is the Democratic Party's mouthpiece. Yeah. Can you imagine if Fox News was caught on an undercover hot mic saying that they dumbed down their viewers in order to get them to vote for a Republican nominee? No, the reality is that this administration cannot handle an ounce of criticism. And they have silenced millions for years. And that is the problem. If you vote for this administration, you are voting for Big Brother. Right now, free speech is under withering and relentless attack in America and across the globe. But at least we still have enough of it here that you can watch this video. We can still run an opposition political campaign. Well, in a lot of countries, you can't do that anymore because the state now controls the media. The state censors the internet. Musk refused to censor user speech. Kamala Harris says that Musk better behave himself or he will, quote, lose his privileges. privileges and it should be taken down. They are directly speaking to millions and millions of people without any level of, of, of oversight or regulation. And that has to stop. She thinks, and the Democratic establishment thinks, that free speech is a privilege. Well, you know and I know that it's a right. And if Kamala Harris is elected, the powers behind her will quash that right. They're already halfway there. It will be too late by 2028. Once we're in the grips of totalitarianism, we're not gonna be able to vote our way out of it. This is our last chance to stop them. After long conversations with President Trump and his team and his family, I know that he is fully convinced of this priority. He sees the censorship machine for what it is. How many agencies are being weaponized to destroy the government's political opponents. He All the people need to unite against the establishment. And that is why non-Republicans such as myself are voting for Trump. Do not be on Big Brother's team.